architect Christopher Charles Benninger. Thank you, sir, for being taken out your time with us. Uh, he needs no introduction. This is called real cheating. I came here to listen to my colleague speak, and I've been kidnapped by Parth. Anyway, well done, Parth. It's taken us three years for you to come here. Thank you very much for being here. Let me make just a small comment. I'm ready to give myself over to Gotham, become his chela, and learn to design with his software. But I want to say one thing. When I started the School of Planning at Ahmedabad in 1971, we started teaching in 72, and there was a gentleman called Krishnaya, who lives in Pune, who brought the first Hewlett Packard to IIM. So I said, we want to use that in planning to, to analyze uh, data, uh, survey people we're planning for, etc. <clears throat> he came to Pune, started SRI, Systems Research Institute. A young man called Narayan Morty started working there. And uh, I bought my first computer in 1983. It was also a Hewlett Packard. And there's a gentleman called Nikita Oak, who's teaching here in town. He, I think, in, in, in maybe in India, but at least in Pune, did the first uh, working drawings on a computer in my office now of, of a hostel in uh, Aurangabad. So we've been playing with the computers for a long time. And even when Ram and I go back to MIT and places like that, the first thing I tell them is, you cannot design with a computer. Please understand, you need tracing paper, pencils, pens, your hand and your brain. Once you get a concept, once you know where you're going, start working on the computer. But never start working on a computer. So maybe Gotham will sell me a package and it will change my whole life. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. honored to have you here so I can't let you go without asking one question from our end. I think I missed that in that many hours that I chatted with you at India House some time back. It, whenever there's a brilliant building the name goes with you and there is no real identity you know when I see a building I cannot say this is Mr. Benninger's building but each one is brilliant in its own way. How do you do this? Why don't you have a signature style and how do you keep repeating that magic uh, over and over and over again? The answer is I have an extremely bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rob Prasad keeps saying, why don't you repeat things? The office would make some money. That every time we start a project, you go into this deep research thing. Uh, I really seriously think that I never like to repeat a building. But there are certain uh, parts of buildings I like to repeat. I think they work well. They can be used again. But generally, I think the excitement is to do something new every time. And there's no sense doing an architectural practice where you're just churning out uh, more and more of the same thing over and over. So I think it's just fun, and we all like to do that. We're all designers here, and we don't like to do the same thing again and again. Actually, we're, we're <clears throat> suddenly um, in Pune, we're taking up work in China. So Ram and I are leaving on Tuesday, and we have three or four very interesting projects in China, uh, ranging from a one million square foot uh, corporate headquarters in Shanghai to a kind of Taoist retreat uh, in the Wodong Shan Mountains. So, great fun in China, and it's Pune who will be working in China, not China and Pune, okay? <laughs> That's really brilliant. Thank you so much, sir, once again.